get this straight, this is a very important point you're making because a lot of people out there think that the Coho are indigenous to the Klamath River, but the Klamath River has is historically a been a warm watershed. It's a reverse watershed. The Klamath what does River, that mean, though? What does that mean? Okay, basically, the Klamath River starts out warm and, and, and dirty. Because of the farming? or No, 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 no. no. For, for 10 million years, mm -hmm. the Klamath River ha is um, basically the Klamath Basin before any dams or anything. The Klamath Basin, historically, Klamath Lake, is a very large, shallow body of water that is extremely phosphate and nitrate rich. For 10 million years, because of volcanic ash and, and basically foul, which create excrement, and foul the water, and suspended tool, decaying tules, mm -hmm. basically, the Klamath River starts out as a reverse watershed. It's very warm, and as it goes towards the ocean, mm -hmm. it cleans, and, and it gets cooler. Now, in 1851, October, I, you know, late October, Reddick McKee, which was a treaty signer for the U.S. government, he had a Scribner, which, or a, uh, a, a journalist by the name of George Gibbs, and in that journal, he wrote that Basically, the water was tepid and unfit for human consumption. And this is before farming and ranching were taking place. Oh, absolutely. Pre dam. Pre dam. Yes. Pre, yes. pre European economic settlement, yeah. basically. Absolutely. And is this, I have, I'm sorry, I got to ask this question because a lot of people out there aren't going to know this. Is this readily available? Oh, it's, a, it's documented. Documented. Absolutely. So, so the crew could have access to this and they're, they, they're, they're, they're choosing not to use it as so, and the Department of Fish and Game yeah. as well? Absolutely. That's a scandal. Yeah, it's very scandalous.